All right, guys. So today a new video on the channel. I'm riding the LMX uh, 56 development bike. This is uh, one of the pre serial but still running the old motor. The motor has the straight cut gears. So they are quite, quite noisy, you know, like a rally car gearbox. For the serial bike, we have uh, helical uh, cut gears that are coming. And also it will be riding with a belt. This one is with the chain. So quite a big difference on the noise. Right now it's more focused on the motor tuning. I'm riding in only one mode. I only have one mode, which is without any accelerator at the moment because really the focus is to tune the pedal assist sensor to have the correct uh, feedback on the sensor. Today the goal is to take quite a bit of elevation and to see how it goes. So now it's uh, climbing quite heavily. We will check on the on the recording, but the elevation gain is quite substantial. So it's a good test for the motor heating. So now we are already at more than 400 meters uh, on the starting altitude. So let's keep climbing. So I just arrived here. The cardio is way up because I'm running with only a thousand watts. I've been doing 600 meters of elevation. So I just gotta cool down a little bit and be on my way. But nice place. So you've seen this one on the pictures before. We are actually in the process of welding uh, four overbikes for for. Uh, Pre-serial testing, customer testing, and so on. And those will have the new gears, also. so it will be a good, uh, good test to check with the new gears and also with the belts. Not, an, uh, not a bad place to be. After, I will tell you how much elevation we got. Uh, yes, uh, five to six hundred meters. More like 600 meters. So I just got to this point where I can't uh, climb any further. This way is close. I tried it. Oh, it's really only climbable by feet. It's not really doable with any bike. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's the top. So now I, I'm gonna try to find any nice way down. <laughs> really steep even with the big tires it's hard to control the speed so well so now I understand better why the climb was quite hard now we have some trails here I don't know so we'll go slow but at least this is in the woods and not a hiking trail And the bar was clipping the tree here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not a lot of room for error here. It's not very steep uh, below, but still. The handlebar is clipping uh, the trees. For example, here. It's good to be uh, in some some real trails and not some hiking stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Nice to have some technical stuff. It's a good test for the handling and also a torque sensor setup 
because uh, any toxins or mis uh, misconfiguration I can feel here because you don't have a lot of room for error. What I really try to achieve with the tuning on the sensor now is to have something very smooth when you start, when you apply the first stroke. And it's especially important when you are navigating this kind of stuff here, where you might stop and start again pedaling, and you don't want to have any big rush of power that uh, uh, propels you forward too much, because you need to be in control of what's happening to be safe. And uh, with this new sensor that we mostly developed in-house, we have a little bit more control over the tuning. That's quite a good thing. Now that's properly steep. Whew. That's my biggest fear all the time. Clipping the handlebar and going down. Whew. That's properly sketchy. If I don't clip my handlebar, my wheel is in the in the bottom here, down there. First time I rode this kind of uh, trails was with some of uh, our customers, uh, Jackie and Jean-Luc. They ride in, uh, in the Alps, close to Annecy, and they have a lot of similar trails to this. So that are not really biking trails. It is great to have uh, this different terrain and really shows uh, the level of tuning that you need on the torque sensor in order to be safe. Uh, I think I'm gonna push this one. And here we go again. In the woods. This is slightly above the fun zone and into the danger zone, at least for me. It's important to know where your limits are. <sighs> it's really more hiking now than biking, but anyway, I'm happy now. So we really worked on the geometry on the 56 in order to give you a good stability on the bike and that is usually achieved by a few factors first is the bottom bracket height and uh, second is the heat tube angle and third would be like the overall geometry like the length of the triangle and, and the length of the the, the base uh, what we try to do is to keep uh, the bottom bracket quite low but in order to compensate this this too low bottom bracket that would give you uh, some pedal strikes and that's really something here that you want to avoid there's rocks everywhere basically rocks and roots and so on and uh, what we did is we uh, added some uh, shorter cranks but not too short it's 160 millimeters but was 10 millimeter over the standard 170 that makes a difference that makes quite a difference yeah so basically the goal is to to, to be able to have this good stability avoid any uh, pedal strikes because pedal strikes can really put you off uh, when you are going in this kind of terrain. Uh, if you hit a rock or a root and, and then you are down, you are down here. <laughs> you are all the way down. So uh, it's important to have this good balance between the stability, uh, the height of the bottom bracket, and that with the shorter cranks, I feel we are not too far off. It's, it's quite good. I'm going really easy now because it's been a few kilometers now with this kind of terrain 
and it's a little nerve-wracking <laughs> don't want to make any mistakes and it's changing from safe and easy to uh, a little bit harder and more risky by the minute what I'm really trying to achieve now in the tuning phase with this bike is to have the same uh, behavior and predictable behavior when you are uh, on the lower gears and you are starting up with high crank cadence or if you are in the higher higher speed gears and you are starting up with really slow cadence and that takes quite a bit of tuning because the parameters are all the way opposite on the one side you have very high cadence low torque and the other side you have low cadence and high torque so you have to find some parameters and with the exponentials and so on that you can apply so to the signals uh, low pass filter exponential and so on that's where you have to find the right balance all right so i think i'm gonna heat down now not that the battery is exhausted but i am a little bit and i will show you some uh, details of the bikes that is quite steep brake and tire doing their job because i'm all the way back over the back tire <laughs> i feel like i could drop a little bit the back tire pressure to get even more of the 2.8 inches that I have on the back it's the downhill express here straight up in the mountain back in the civilization so now I will show you how to remove the battery in the NMX 56 so first you have to use your key and to release the hatch from the battery hatch the battery hatch comes down you can uh, remove this part and then you have this uh, handle so you just go up and then the battery comes just like that and here's the battery and to put it back on you just click it into place here and then clicks down and you go back with the, this part here and you click it in the bottom and then up here until you hear the click <laughs> 